Hello, this is Dr. Eric Hibbs, Superintendent of the Marlboro Township Public Schools located in Marlboro, New Jersey. This presentation will discuss the information we have gathered regarding the Park Sample End of Year Mathematics Assessment in our district. The information contained here is solely based upon the information we have at the moment. PARC. PARC stands for the Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers. More than 15 million students will take this test in the 2014-2015 school year, and I wanted to create common professional development for our staff based upon what we know. What we know. Starting in 1415, students in grades 3 through 8 will take two forms of the PARC assessment in both mathematics and English language arts literacy. Students will take the performance-based assessment, called the PBA, approximately 75% of the way through the school year. Students will take the end-of-year assessment, the EOY, approximately 90% of the way through the school year. It's important to remember that all students in grades 3 through 8 will take the PBA and EOY in both mathematics and ELA. More information. More information regarding these assessments is located at www.parkonline.org backslash 3-8. You can also visit our webpage located at www.marlboro.k12.nj.us and click the curriculum tab for Park Important Information. Also included here will be sample mathematics assessments narrated by Dr. Hibbs. Click on the tab labeled Park End of Year Mathematics Explanation Videos and you'll be able to see each end of year assessment for procedure. Park Sample End of Year Assessments. Currently, Park has released sample end of year assessments for mathematics and sample performance based assessments for ELA. Park has explained that they will release sample PBA assessments in mathematics and sample end-of-year assessments in ELA in the fall of 2014. This presentation will discuss the samples contained in the grade 3 through grade 8 sample end-of-year mathematics assessments. To see these park sample assessments, please visit www.parkonline.org, follow the link for practice tests. You can choose either mathematics or English language arts literacy, and there are also answer keys for you to utilize. Types of questions. On the mathematics end of year sample tests, there are 23 types of questions that are utilized as sentence starters. The beginnings. The following beginnings to sentences exist. Based, be, choose, classify, complete, create, drag and drop, enter, for, in, indicate, on, order, place, Plot, select, solve, the, to, use, what, when, and which. Notice that some of these direct you to do something. Place, order, others do not. Just be aware of that. No guarantees. There are absolutely no guarantees that the percentages that follow will emulate the percentages of questions on the actual park assessment. But in Marlboro's opinion, some data is better than no data at all. Combinations. Be aware of problems that use combinations of the starters as well. If two of the keywords are in one problem, they will be in bold. You can see what combinations of these words have been released by the Park sample tests. Numbers associated with each. So, for grade three, there are a total of 44 questions. I rounded percentages. There is one question for each of complete, for, use, and what, and each one is worth 2.2% each. There's two questions for drag and drop, three questions for plot at 6.8%, four questions for select at 9%, nine questions starting with which for 20.4%, and 22 questions starting with enter for 50% of the test. So what we know is 50% of the questions start with the word enter on the grade three end of year assessment. Moreover, approximately 70% of this test starts with either which or enter. Pretty powerful information. 
Grade four, total of 44 questions. There's one question each for four and place at 2.2% each. There's three questions for drag and drop and which at 6.8% each. Six questions for select at 13.6%. And 30 questions starting with enter for almost 70% of this test. So for grade four, approximately 80% of this test starts with either enter or select. Grade five, total of 44 questions. One question each for choose, complete, and four at 2.2% each. Two questions for what at 4.5%. Three questions for select at 6.8%. Four questions for drag and drop and which at 9% each. And 28 questions out of 44 for a total of 63.6% .6 for enter. Grade five. Here's grade six. Total of 44 questions. One question each for create, on, and what at 2.2% each. Two questions for drag and drop at 4.5%. Three questions for select, use, and which at 6.8%. And 30 questions starting with enter for 68.1%. So almost 70% of the grade six assessment for end of year mathematics start with the word enter. Grade seven, total of 43 questions. There's one question for in at 2.3%, three questions for what and which at 6.9%, 11 questions for select at 25.5%, and 25 questions for enter at 58.1%. Grade eight, notice this one will be different. 42 total questions, one question for indicate, order, the, and two at 2.3%, seven questions for what and which at 16.6%, nine questions for enter at 21.4%, and 15 questions for select at 35.7%. Okay, those are your percentages broken out from the mathematics sample assessments. Let's move on. Questions you can embed. The next slide, slides 13 through 45, are going to give you specific examples based upon the sentence starters for the Park End of Year Math Assessment. These were pulled directly from the end of year assessments. Notice that after each example, there will be information in parentheses. That is where you can find the specific problem on the Park Sample End of Year Assessments. Your goal. Staff, your goal is to embed these types of problems into your classroom. Odds are, you're already doing a lot of these, but we wanted to ensure that students will see every type of problem and, be, and can be successful before park full implementation. The beginnings, based. I'm not gonna read each one. I'm just gonna scroll and talk generally. This PowerPoint will be available for download as well and you can cut, copy, and paste to use in your instruction. B, notice here in the top bullet, you can see it starts with B and it also has the word what. That's an example of the double highlight. Same thing in the second example, B and place. Choose. Classify, also has the word select here. Complete. Notice complete also has dragging and dropping. Create. Make sure you pay particular attention to this problem. This is on the grade six end of year mathematics assessment, creating the histogram. It's a really neat prob problem and students really need to know how to answer this problem correctly. Drag and drop. Enter. Four. In, indicate, on, also has select, order, place, plot, select. Solve, solve also has enter, the, two, also has select. Use, 
what, when, paired with what, which, now what. Okay, the expectations. Staff, I'd like you to embed these examples into your classrooms. You can do that through Do Now activities, Promethean Active Board activities using drag and drop, our Chromebooks, quizzes, homework, daily language, etc. I'm sure that you can think of many other ways to embed these. These are just simply examples. Our goal. We have a curriculum that will prepare all of our students to succeed on the park assessment. We are fully aligned to the Common Core State Standards. Our goal now is to ensure that our students can understand how to successfully navigate the test and to see all the examples. Okay? This presentation will be available as well for your download and manipulation, and I wish you the best of luck.